booth today because I'm working on the technicals for The Gods Are Not To Blame, an epic African um, theatre play. It actually started as a Greek tragedy but this is the African rendition and to be precise it's actually a Yoruba version. You have a Yoruba king and you have a Yoruba kingdom and you also have um, Yoruba names and languages that are involved too. What a challenge it's been. This is African theatre on the move because it's not just theatre, it's actually a combination of film and acting on the stage at the same time. So I am actually in charge of the projection of all the visuals that are going on the stage today. I've been doing this for the past five days now, since Sunday. And um, it's, it's got its advantages and it has got its sort of not. Because every little thing I do is going to be projected. So in that sense, in a split second, if there are any, if, if there is anything, it's going to be seen on the stage. Um, today we've got the likes of IOJ Asimi from Thespian Theatre uh, Family Production, Lukman Zanusi from Heavywood Media and Bubbles FM, Abizemi Alaro, Peter Olonishomo, you've got award-winning artists like Ayo the First, who's played for the British royal family. Um, you've got the princess from um, Nigeria, Princess, Adi, uh, princess Down, uh, Adi Doi, and you've just got a wealth of actors and actresses that are going to be filling this stage today. So I'm really going to try my best to make sure I don't make any, have any discrepancies on the, uh, on the technical side, but I'm kind of getting used to it. It's a beautiful narrative that's going to be projected with the baby being born, um, wrapped sort of in, in white, um, white silk. And then we've got the village scenes of people eating, making food, making um, pounded yam. And also we've got um, sort of the, the scenes of the, of the drumming and the celebrations when the child is being born, which is the songs, of course, that everybody knows and everybody's singing. So I think that for an independent production, okay, that is sort of privately funded, it's just been extraordinary. The energy that's coming out of this production is remarkable. Um, the alignment of casts in this play, again, is just, it's incredible. And for it to be in the UK and to be in London for five days is really 150% positive achievement, which is something that, you know, as an organisation, that's, that's what we want to see. So I'm so honoured and privileged to sit in this seat today and to, to actually be part of this incredible achievement. Um, what I can say to you now is to flip over to Heart Culture True Vision and continue to watch the blogs and the videos and the rich um, uploads of the cultural engagement that, that we're going to be sending you, the love we're going to be sending you. So it's all about, you know, positive connections and building that positive network. So, of course, staying positive is staying golden. Inspire excellence always. This is love culture, heart culture. 